This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the basics of editing with Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to adjust audio levels. The next thing we have to do, now that we've got our story pretty much roughed out, is we have to adjust our audio levels. Let's just zoom in a bit here. The way audio levels work is this. There's a blue line inside each clip that allows us to adjust the audio level, but not when the audio is as narrow as it is here. Hold the Option key down. Option plus and Option minus allows you to enlarge audio tracks. Command plus and Command minus allows you to enlarge or shrink video tracks. Once you make the audio track larger than the smallest size, one, two, three, three times larger, this white line appears. It's actually light blue. If you grab it and drag it, I can increase the gain of the clip up to 6 dB. The most important rule you need to know about audio is that your audio levels must not exceed 0 dB when you export. If the audio levels are over 0 dB, they distort, and your audio is destroyed, and it can't be fixed. Audio levels must not exceed 0 dB when you export. When you edit, it doesn't make any difference. When you save the Premiere Project, it doesn't make any difference. When you export the Premiere Project, it does. Although we don't want our audio levels to go over 0, that's too loud most of the time for most noise regulations. You want to have your audio of the full mix bouncing between negative 3 and negative 6. And we can do that by grabbing these lines and dragging up and down to get to the level that we want. We can also, if we hold the Command key down, Command click on this line, and I can set what are called keyframes, and I can say I want this part to be loud and that part to be soft. You do that by command clicking on the line to set keyframes. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to try and find an easier way. If I select all of my clips here and type the letter G for gain, I want to normalize the clips to minus 3. And now what happens is all of my audio is now going to be bouncing pretty close to the right level without me having to do individual setting of levels for each individual clip. Now we can still go through and set levels, but this ability to select the audio as a group, type the letter G, normalize max peak, and I recommend you normalize to negative three, is a very fast way of setting audio levels for all of your clips. Now in truth, what I do for all of my projects is I will send them from Premiere over to Audition and do a mix. But to rough this in enough so the client can hear and you can actually understand the dialogue, rather than having to, to adjust each individual blue line, select the letter G, normalize to negative 3, and you're in the ballpark. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the basics of editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 248. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.